Meghan Markle's next step could be an invitation to Washington, D.C., claims a talk radio host, as the Duchess advances her political ambitions. A radio host has claimed that a visit to Washington, D.C. could be on the cards for Meghan Markle following her letter to Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi and Senator Chuck Schumer, which lobbied for parental paid leave in the U.S. According to Mike Graham, Meghan knows very well that Nancy Pelosi would enjoy the publicity, as both he and royal expert Angela Levin predict a transition to politics for the Duchess. Since leaving the royal family, she and Prince Harry have established themselves in the U.S. as activists and public figures. Mike Graham, a host on talk radio, said, she knows very well that Nancy Pelosi is of a similar bent, Nancy Pelosi loves a bit of publicity so she'll love the idea that she's had the letter. So no doubt, the next step will be why don't you come to Washington and we can have you address the Senate about the issue of child care? Or some nonsense. Royal expert Angela Levin continued, this is what she wants of course, I mean she really does want to try and be a politician. She also wants to make films, she wants to star in them, she also wants to tell people how to invest their money. In the letter, Meghan addressed herself as the Duchess of Sussex and wrote that she was writing as a mother. She noted that millions of women have dropped out of the workforce at an alarming rate, and acknowledged the role of the pandemic in revealing faults within society, writing, the working mom or parent is facing the conflict of being present or being paid. She also spoke of her own childhood, recalling how she felt lucky to be eating a $4.99 salad at Sizzler and that she had begun to earn her own money from the age of 13. Megan wrote, I knew how hard my parents worked to afford this because even at five bucks, eating out was something special, and I felt lucky. The Duchess also discussed the arrival of her and Prince Harry's baby daughter Lilibet, acknowledging that many parents were unable to spend time with their children like they had done. Like any parents, we were overjoyed. Like many parents, we were overwhelmed. Like fewer parents, we weren't confronted with the harsh reality of either spending those first few critical months with our baby or going back to work. We knew we could take her home, and in that vital, and sacred, stage, devote any and everything to our kids and to our family. In the U.S., only nine states and Washington, D.C. have implemented paid family leave policies, with Megan writing that it should be a national right. This lobbying campaign falls in line with her 40 by 40 initiative which she launched as part of her 40th birthday celebrations in August. She had asked 40 friends and activists to donate 40 minutes of their time to mentoring an unemployed woman. In a statement on the couple's Archwell website, Megan wrote that women had been shouldering the brunt of the crisis, with over 2 million women in the U.S. alone leaving the workforce. Since leaving the royal family, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have established themselves as leading activists. In September, they conducted a three-day tour of New York, where they met with New York's Mayor Bill de Blasio, joined a roundtable discussion with the World Health Organization and gave a speech at the Global Citizen Live concert. They have also launched their own non-profit foundation Archwell and have signed a £100 million deal with Netflix and Spotify. The couple currently reside in Montecito in California with their two children.